So would you like to connect a DoDaddy domain directly into Wix? I'm going to show you in a very easy and fast way of how you can actually get started with. The very first thing you want to do is to have an actual domain already been purchased into GoDaddy. If you don't have one, you can always go directly into GoDaddy, go for the actual section that says your account and go directly into domain so you can purchase a new domain. Once you are inside the actual section of the domain, what you want to do is to look out for the DNS section. So I'm just inside the actual domain of GoDaddy. I'm going to leave this like that. And then what I want to do is to open a new tab and look out for my actual Wix. Inside Wix, what you want to do is to get started with your actual new website. So as you can see, here's an actual website already been created. So I'm going to click into the website. And then once we are in here, it says, let's set up your business. What you wanted to do is to go and connect a custom to domain. So for that's going to be just really easy just by going here and copy the purchase domain that we have uh, caused acquired here into the actual GoDaddy. Now that I just paste the actual custom domain here, I'm going to hit into let's go. Now it's going to be telling you that these actual domains have already been taken. So what you want to answer is that yes, I own the ownership. So you can upgrade your site with a premium plan to connect your domain. So it'll be really important after you have an upgraded plan directly here into Wix. Otherwise, this actually just won't work. So today we actually have a free version of Wix, but it's still going to be showing you how to do this in a very easy way. So uh, now that you have selected that option, it's going to be telling you to add this DNS record directly inside your actual provider of the domain, in this case, GoDaddy. So it's going to be providing you with a host name, with an actual value, and with actual TTL. So usually it's going to be telling you to add an app, and host name and of course a C name. So what I wanted to do is to go here into my domain of the GoDaddy, go into DNS, and inside DNS, what I wanted to do is to add a new DNS settings. So you're gonna add a new register. And here usually is gonna be asking for a C name. You just need to copy and paste all the stuff that were provided from Wix. Now that you have successfully done that, what you wanted to do is to go directly here and to save. So it's gonna be looking something like this. You have it blocked. You have the express field double TEL, and there we go. So once you have successfully done that, what you want to do is to make sure that you make the verification of that stuff. So uh, after that, so after that, we're going to make sure that they're the verifying of the ownership. You have this option to set your GoDaddy domain as the primary domain for your website. So you want to choose this desired domain and save your settings directly here into Wix. As I just told you, of course, we only have a free version, but if you open a new tab and just make sure that you have set it up as a primary domain, it might be looking something like this. Now, sometimes it is working, sometimes it's not, uh, because since we have already done this in a very easy, fasted way, you need to wait up to one or two hours to make sure the changes has been now saved correctly. But if you see that there's like an error here directly into GoDaddy, that means that we needed to do update any kind of information that were misplaced from Wix directly into GoDaddy. But that, guys, is how you can add your actual domain directly from GoDaddy directly into Wix. And there, guys, is how you actually do it in a very easy, easy way. So congratulations, guys. If you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools, how we can get started here into Wix, into GoDaddy, and so much more domain connection. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And hopefully, with all of that being said, you can see it to be brought to the video of TechPress. See you next time.